When summer drags on and the heat sits heavy in the yard, dogs, they seem to feel it faster than we do. You can see it in the deep panting after a walk and the way that they drop onto a cool tile floor or tuck into the shade. But as the weather shifts closer to fall, the air, it starts to dry out and their bodies don't suddenly switch to a new cooling system. The truth is simple. Dogs don't really sweat the way that humans do. People cool off through millions of sweat glands spread all across the skin. Dogs, they barely have any. Their main sweat glands, called merocrine glands, sit in their paw pads and in their nose. On a hot day, those glands can make a dog leave a faint wet paw print on concrete, which is about the only real sweating that they can do. It helps a little bit, but not enough to cool the entire body. Their real cooling system is panting. When a dog pants, fast-moving air moves across moist tissues in the mouth, the throat, and the upper airways. That creates evaporation, which pulls heat out of the bloodstream. A dog that normally takes maybe 30 breaths a minute could jump to 300 or 400 when it's panting hard. That rapid airflow lets them shed heat quickly without putting too much strain on their lungs. Some dogs are built for this, and some aren't. Short-nosed breeds, like bulldogs and pugs, they have less airway space for evaporation, and that puts them at higher risk for overheating. Even early fall days can push into the 80s Fahrenheit, around 27 Celsius, and those breeds can struggle long before a human ever breaks sweat. That cool, damp nose many dogs carry, it isn't just for smelling. The thin layer of moisture can catch some particles, but a little bit also evaporates and releases a trace of heat. It's not enough to cool the whole body, but it's part of the same system that keeps them very comfortable. So once the heavy heat of summer fades towards October, dogs start to breathe easier. Their coats shift towards winter growth, which is meant for warmth, not cooling. And what really helps is the change in temperature itself. The cool air does the work that their bodies can't do, and that's the constant. Humans, they sweat to stay cool. Dogs, they pant. Two totally different tools, built for the same problem, keeping a warm-blooded body safe in the heat. These are Interesting Things with J.C.